Has it really been a month already? Cheese and rice. Am I right? Anyway, welcome back to another episode of Misadventures of Sabrina. Or whatever the heck it's called, I don't remember. It's been a month. Give me a break. I've been busy. I have a feeling that um, I'm actually gonna lose out on my job because the place I'm working at is going through some renovations and my boss has called me off and he's like, hey, hey Sabrina, um, we got a little problem over here. We have some renovations and I talked to my landlord. He says, it's a go-go, so you're going to be out of a job for a couple weeks. And I'm like, well, gee, that gives me some time to do some more episodes of the Misadventures of Sabrina show that I'm doing right now. So I thought, why not, you know, indulge myself and have a little fun while I'm out of work. Thank goodness for the, thank goodness for the, uh, the labor crisis of 2008. It's coming back to haunt me again. Anyway, moving on to better matters. Oh, oh, if you please, young boy there, please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. Ew, no. <laughs> That's totally something Sabrina would say. <laughs> That's terrible. Why, that's just awful. Terrible, you mean child. What harm could it possibly do you to simply listen to the request of a poor and miserable man like myself? What harm, I ask you? Whoa, getting a little aggressive there, buddy. Off a little bit. I was starting to hear you out, okay? I was listening to you, and I was thinking about it, but as soon as you took that authoritative tone, it's off the table, pal. You, you blew it. You can tell, you can tell your family and your friends that you blew it. You could have had the help of Sabrina, the Wind Waker. Such a missed opportunity. Piggy, I shall claim you as my own. Come here. Come here. This little piggy went wee all the way home. Yet you don't have a home, do you? You're an orphan. Like myself. Hey. It's Elvis. I thought you were dead. Oh no, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. <gasps> oh dear, pardon me. You saw me just gaily prancing around wearing my Elvis costume. I'm so sorry you had to see that. That was something I did not want you to see. Well, if it was something you didn't want me to see, why are you doing in front of me? I'm getting really weird signals from this guy. I don't know, but something tells me he is very fashionable. I am taught I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. Yeah, you could work on your uh, health there, buddy. A two, a one, two. Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago. Oh, great. We... <laughs> Grandpa's got to tell me some stories. I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. A magic dance, you say? Was he also wearing an Elvis costume? A dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. Well, maybe he just danced so long that I actually turned night. You ever think of that? Because judging by how things are on this island, there's not a lot to do. I wouldn't put it past you to just uh, stand put and watch a guy dance for a whole day. I'm sorry, but... It's true. I remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that intricate rhythm down. Don't worry. Dance is a primitive art. Even the people of the Stone Age were pros at it. If, if you can't get it down, then I don't know what's right with the world. Do you think you know the rhythm, guy? Well, actually, it depends. Because if you, if you tell me it's just dance by Lady Gaga. I got it down pat. You know, I can dance to that song all day. But, you know, it, it depends on the song. Um, you're not gonna tell me the song, are you? Just watch the dance happen, and he wants me to tell him if I know it. Okay, he's not gonna be specific, so I'm not gonna be specific with my answer. And I'll say, I maybe don't. Again, I don't know what he's talking about. Oh my god. Kids, run for your lives. 
I will not be harassed by a bunch of kindergartners. I'm gonna show them who's boss. Ah! Take this, and this, and some more. Why aren't you phased by my sword? Wait a minute. Are these ghosts? Only possible reasoning for them not to be phased by a metal sword gliding slowly and gently through their bodies is that they must be phantoms. This is even more dire than I thought. This town is our turf, the turf of the world famous killer bees. Why are you eyeing me like this? It makes me so uneasy. Stop it right now. I do not like this. I shall quietly. Oh no, they're on to my plan. I was planning to just quietly maneuver my way out of this situation. And I can't. They're following me. Paranoia setting in. I don't know what to do. I'm scared and I'm all alone. Fluffy clouds in the air. Little white fluffy clouds. We got the great sea before us. Whatever the hell that is in the background. Ah, so majestic. Look at that tree. It's so... Much like a tree. And... A windmill lighthouse thingy? I don't know. And a red door. If my knowledge from the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is correct, this will lead me to Narnia. And away we go. I can't wait to meet the lion. Wait a minute. Narnia is pretty top notch, to be honest. Look at that. The golden chandelier. It's pretty expensive to live in Narnia. Hey, are you the king? You look like. Oh, never mind. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if a boy. You would do? It's difficult to tell. Yes, difficult. You see, my one and only daughter, Mila. Oh, you have a daughter. How old is she? She have age? She complacent? Does she need a new person in her life? Then count me in. She was taken away from me to a frightening place called the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, I was just there. I told her that I would rescue her second. I'm kind of on a mission to save my sister, uh, Marie. So I'm kind of uh, busy doing that. Sorry. But if, uh, if I can rescue her along the way, then I'll surely do that. But unless I can do it on the way, I'm afraid it's out of the question. I got enough on my plate, man. I've asked many to rescue her, but it seems to be a difficult voyage to that cursed place. Oh, to see my sweet Mila again, my precious little daughter. All right, guy, knock it off. Your father looking for your daughter, I understand that, but you, do you really need to cry at my feet? This is just too much, okay? I worry so over her welfare, I can't recall the last time I slept more than a wink. What the hell does that mean? What? Slept more than a wink? I sincerely wonder about the wisdom of asking a boy, hey, you better watch it, mister. I'm gonna get those SJWs on you on your tail about that if you misgender me one more time to do this but would you lend a hand to help rescue my precious daughter um but like i said this kind of has to have an explanation behind my answer i can't just do sure or no way but i only have two answers so let's say sure you are a brave boy okay that's it you know what you lost on the offer I told you to be careful. I'm calling the SJWs on you right now. I'm getting Hillary Clinton on the phone and she's gonna tell my SJW brothers and sisters, people, to get on you about that. If you do rescue her, I will pay you. Oh, wait, hold on. You'll pay me, huh? I'll take a bribe. Mm hmm. I'd give my entire fortune for her safety. Hmm, I like how this is playing out. Your entire fortune, you say? <laughs> oh boy. Are you sure you want to say those words? Because I'm a pretty literal person. So if you say you're going to give your entire fortune to me, I'm going to hold you to it. I will rescue her. No doubt about it. 
I will take this on my way out. No, no, no need to thank me. I am surely in your debt. Wait a minute. I can't walk out with this pot on my head. What is the matter? What is the reason for this? This will not do. Fine. If I can't take this, and I can't have it, then you can't have it. You little weasel. Right back at you, man. Well, thank you so much for coming into my home and breaking my high-priced faces. Hey, I'm going to go rescue your daughter. This place is mine now. You have no authority over me. If you break any more, I assure you that I shall not let it go lightly. No, sir. Not at all. I shall require compensation. Oh, you're going to blackmail me now? I don't understand what's going on with this dude. First, he's like, oh, please, please rescue my daughter. And then he's like, I will blackmail your ass. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? I was having a cordial discussion with this man, and now he's threatening me. Man, life of an SJW, am I right? Time to get out of here. I shall take your estate, good sir, but under different circumstances. Rescuing, rescuing females apparently gets me a castle. Who knew? I guess I should talk to my man Mario about that. He has a good track record with saving princesses. Or saving princess. Since he's usually only saving one female at a time. That reminds me, Peach. Peach, you really need to step up your game, okay? You're getting kidnapped way too many times. Makes me actually think you want to be with Bowser. And that's something I don't want to think about. So let's just move on. You're looking for a sale? I have no idea where you would find one. But... Do I look like a sailor to you? Look, I'm feeling down right now, so shove off, fool you. Drop anchor elsewhere. Oh, I like these these water sailor puns you got there. Just keep firing away. Get it? Firing like out of a cannon. See, I can do it too, asshole. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Uh... Hey, look, an ex Eskimo. How you doing, man? My name's Sabrina. How are you? No, no. Go over there. Man, people, oh my god, he actually put his hands on me. This person just sexually, just, just spoke to me in a sexually harassing oh, way. I did not. Yeah, he did. You hear that? Can't put your hands on me like that. This is a free country. I'm allowed to go where I want, okay? If I want to invade your personal space, I can. But you, on the other hand, can't do that. That's a violation of my rights as a human. As a transgender person, that, those are my rights, and I will stick by them, okay? Hey, Fabio, what's going on? Hey there, boy. God. You know what? Just I'm just going to calm myself down. Take some deep breaths. Okay. Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Just... Put it behind you, be the bigger person. Before long, the Rito postman will come to deliver it to whomever you sent it to. He's a hard-working fellow, I tell you. Okay, um, cool. Not really important. Eskimo guy. Man, these people really like to tell me stories. Let's see, what voice should I give this person? My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far, far away. A land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet, mysteriously, only that escaped without so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you are a traveler as well. Oh yes, indeed. It is my one an only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that, despite the fact it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their town. Please, I beg of you. I wish to open a business here in this town, so I am in desperate need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? I'll buy it. Why? You don't have enough rubies. You are a pitiable soul in yourself. Screw you, then. I just need five more rupees. You really that up in a bunch about it? 
Don't get your panties into twist, man. Let me get those five rubies for you. See, I am... I am quite a mellow person. Yet he wants a lot of money for that sale. And I have quite a bit of money. I mean, I'm in a comfortable situation. My, my income is comfortable, to say the least. So it's not stressing me too much. And the fact that I only need five more rubies is not too much of a stressor either. But see, he was coming at me at full force. He was just asking for the works. Get out of here. I don't need you. I want my money. You know, he's like doing all this stupid stuff. And being the bigger person, not fat, but being the bigger, meaning I'm the one taking the high road here, being the bigger person I am, you know, I just shrugged it off. I'm like, yeah, this guy's a jerk, but I'm not going to let it get to me. Because if I did, then who am I? All right, hold on. Let me focus. Get in line. Yeah, I'm going. All right. I think this should do it. Okay, one more. Papa. And success. 84 rubies. Just enough to get the sale. And have some rubies left over. So let's get this. Talk to this guy again. Ooh, please buy that from me. Please purchase my only belonging. That is a very, very fine thing indeed. How does 80 rubies sound? I'll buy it. As I promised, please take that. And why is he being so like, uh, why isn't, why is he talking so general about the sale? I know it's a sale. I mean, it's something that people can use to navigate the island. It's an island. That means there's water around it. Um, there's nothing else that would be, you know, worth it on this place. This godforsaken island. <laughs> I don't know why he has to be so weird about it. Anyway, let's just take it and go. Like GTA. You got a boat sail. Set it to Y, Z, or X, and then use it while you're on the boat to sail across the sea. Press A to put it away. Yes, you have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sail in the world. In the world? How, uh, how can you validate that claim, good sir? Is there a test? Is there a written and oral test? Is that why I can't see the lower half of you? Is there an oral test later? I don't know. We are done. Actually, hold on. Let me talk to him one more time. Windfall's a warm and bustling place. I deem, I do believe I shall settle and open my business here. I must say, if you happen to come across a delivery bag, let me know. The first thing I must do is find products to sell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. In any case, we are done uh, procuring things on this little abysmal slice of life island. And next time I see you, we shall hopefully do more eventful things, like rescue a bird princess or something. You're not the same. I don't need you.